Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to be hitting Hammerman's imitation game with tanks and medics because it is currently tanks and medic, uh, tank and medic mania, which means the uh, troop costs are down, reduced by 90%, so that's pretty dope. Let's hop into it. We are already on stage 2, accidentally hit stage 1 beforehand, but uh, we want to hit some player bases afterwards, so we are not gonna throw down our troops on this, and we are just gonna bard it down, and we are gonna try the same for stage 3, although with stage 3, if we fail on barding it down, it might get a little bit, um, it might get a little bit close there, because then I won't have uh, really any uh, GBE to place down uh, my tanks. Maybe I'll have enough for a boat, but uh, I, I'm just going to try it out. Throw a few barrages, kind of see where that sits, and then throw the rest in artillery. Not even close. In fact, that was like easier to bar down than the last stage it seemed, or it was pretty close. But there we go. Stage 3. Let's hop into stage 4 here. I'm going to try and attack it. Um one attack per stage I, I will do the final attack if I do fail on stage 6 or 7 but uh, I'm hoping it doesn't come down to that because I really want to get to some player bases and uh, you know just build up my loot because I want to get an upgrade we are so close to level 68 and I want to hit that I want to hit that checkpoint in Boom Beach and I kind of wish there's a try boost of uh, medic healing plus 50% or plus 60% I'd have to to check to make sure but uh, I, I kind of wish it was tank speed instead because this is the the HQ is so far back and our tanks are just incredibly slow but um, it looks like we build up quite an energy reserve so we're gonna throw a, th uh, a few barrages on the HQ along with some artillery that should speed up stage four and we'll be able to hop into stage four five so there we go let's take the little bit of loot he does give us for stage four you know what that's better so than some player bases uh nowadays on my map so i'm not complaining but uh honestly this is a difficult stage four now i don't think i've ever seen a stage four that has the uh has the the potential to beat me but uh what i what i'm looking at is that grappler in the back of um, the base there because it's just gonna pull a couple of my tanks I don't really want that to happen so uh, we're gonna try and thread a shock bomb under the sky shield there we go looks like we're able to hit it and now those boom cannons and cannons are starting to turn on our tanks so we're gonna throw a shock bomb couple boxes of critters and uh, one of our tanks might get grappled here looks like we're able to shock it in time it might have been looking at a critter because it did not fire for a good couple seconds there and the critter probably just died and then that grappler just got mega confused but it looks like it is back off a shot cooldown there we go it did pull one tank but that tank is gonna be a uh, a, a, a leader almost and just just survive and tank everything within that sky shield so there goes stage five um honestly i thought that was stage four in my head but uh that's only because i accidentally attacked stage one beforehand so we're good i'm not going crazy am i i don't know um but here we go on to stage six and honestly I i'm gonna say it this looks like a stage five um you know, I, I guess we're not getting the difficult bases today. Sometimes stage six will give uh, higher level people a run for their money. You know, sometimes, sometimes. Um, usually stage seven does. But we're going to take out uh, the shock launchers and the uh, shock blaster. Because we don't want that causing any problems this attack. And we're going to throw down our tanks, center base, and uh, through a couple boxes of critters. Just to uh, tune up the defenses there, you know, give them a little bit of an attitude adjustment there but uh we're gonna throw another box of critters center base that should get a lot of the remaining defenses to turn inward and focus on the critters while our tanks do the heavy lifting here good job to my medics i only brought a boat of them usually i bring three but with the increased healing i decided to bump it down to one that's a pretty extreme jump but i think the the extra two boats of tanks really uh does a number on a base and it looks like we haven't even lost look at that a full spread from from uh that side of the base to that side of the base good job tanks you guys were not even 
not even at risk there but here comes stage seven let's scout it out before we do hit that attack button you know you know th this one's a little bit more difficult and why do i say that because he has a boosted damage statue around a huge ice base and we are gonna hit into this attack right now so what i want to do is we're gonna throw a box of critters just so our tanks can kind of set up on their strategy for this attack and now we're kind of leaving that boom cannon raw so we're gonna throw a shock bomb onto it next we're gonna throw a barrage barrage kind of see where the shock launchers are sitting health wise after i do throw that looks like they need one artillery each boy is that a little inconvenient but it's okay we are all good so far for this attack we're gonna throw a box of critters kind of help out with the uh, distracting effort you know the more i look at that i was throw i was trying to throw it looks like we lost our first tank of the episode uh the the video here second one too almost in the same spot but uh i'm pretty confident we'll be able to take this one out not that difficult of a stage seven it did have that huge ice boost but it looks like hammerman imitated the wrong stage seven today because uh it, it, it was very easy if i if if i don't say so um, not to insult him. Actually, no. Hammerman's the villain here. This was way too easy. What were you thinking copying this guy's base? Come on. Imitate at least someone who has a chance against, uh, Tank Medic. Especially since it's Tank Medic Mania. Like, are, are, are you, uh, are you okay, Hammerman? It seems like you're not thinking straight, are you, here? Um, but, uh, after, after that little bit of a, a taunting rant, we are gonna get a little bit nervous as one of our tanks was getting hit by that shock blaster it looks like we've lost a decent amount of tanks this attack but that's kind of expected you know on a different base all those ice statues might mean i uh i would have to hit it a second time here and and kind of piggyback off the first attack but uh looks like we're able to take out stage seven seven attacks seven stages down so we'll take that imitation game loot today free loot as i like to say but uh we are gonna retrain our tanks and now we go into the 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 player base portion so let's see will uh will hammerman be more difficult or the bases on my map currently um you know this base it looks a little bit more difficult than hammerman so far doesn't have the ice statue potential but it does excuse me it does uh it does look a little bit difficult if i don't say so and after we calculate what we're gonna do we're gonna throw down our tanks here and we are just gonna wait and see what happens you know i'm gonna target that grappler hit that double barrage double artillery see if that's able to take it out he's already turned there goes one of my tanks unfortunately now that was a quick encounter there got a little bit intense for a second there but i think we will be fine for this attack we got a boom cannon hitting free on my tanks i think he would have hit the same one again so uh you know we we decided we decided to throw a shock bomb onto it uh sue me man um, but we're gonna throw a shock bomb onto a boom cannon, shock blaster, shock launcher combo there. We're gonna throw a barrage, double artillery, that should take out that shock launcher so I don't have to worry about that one. But we have a huge group of our troops on the left hand side here. I'm not sure if I'm vibing with that or not, but we are gonna pop a, or we're gonna pop a critter spawn. First one of the attack here. Looks like a couple of my tanks, you know, the medic healing, maybe I should have brought two boats. Um, they aren't doing, you know, they're sustaining, it seems like they're sustaining the ones that are essentially full health, but are taking a little bit of rocket launcher fire. But we do have the majority hidden over here, and they are barely countering any damage, and they aren't healing that much. So, I, I mean, they're probably helping out a good amount, but we've already lost more tanks than the entire imitation game today and that uh, that's quite a bit of tanks we did lose on this base you know i didn't lose that many during imitation game so i don't know what the comparison was because this base i i probably could have had experienced greater success attacking on the right hand side here and avoiding all those defenses up here but uh you know all that calculating at the beginning of the attack was um not 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 that useful if i will say so you know 
a, a better path exposed itself to me mid attack and I'm a little bit disappointed but we have a good gold um, we got a good gold amount going ahead and I was gonna scout out that guy but I saw he had about 70,000 of each one of the resources there so I decided to move on you know what let's attack him we aren't gonna back out loot's not that great but um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up for the challenge here. So we're going to throw a box of critters on the landing. Um, I like to do that with front-loaded bases a lot, just so we have a little bit of protection. We're going to throw a shock bomb. I kind of fat-fingered it a little bit, so we did miss that boom cannon. Not sure if I would have got it if I didn't fat-finger it, but um, I'd like to think I did, you know. It, it, it would it would ease a lot of my worries about this attack um, because I, I I'm pretty confident we'll just walk over this base um, especially since we got through most of his defenses in front of the HQ we, we have to worry about the defenses behind the HQ somewhat but that's kind of just garbage time troop kills because we're gonna have a lot of time just focusing the HQ here especially when we throw that um, that final flare oh oh I, I lied that wasn't the final flare and we almost just destroyed ourselves with that but it looks like our tanks one bopped it at the end there so that was pretty cool I was not expecting that much damage to be honest so that 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 was pretty satisfying but we're gonna hop into one more player base attack here and might as well um, scout out this dog of war here you know maybe a dog of war you know is is he is, is that a reference um, that I'm missing, uh, like a movie from a movie or something, or is this an actual dog at war? Because I'm a little bit worried. Because I don't think I don't think dogs can really go to war. So that means it would be a human using a dog for war. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, you know, dogs can be useful. You know, they they, they got that nose, right? Um, but interesting name, I uh, nonetheless here. But it looks like we're going into this base. We took out his shock launchers. Kind of left that shock blaster just chilling there. Um, I ran out of the GBE pretty quickly there. So we're kind of we're kind of caught out a little bit. Um, we're able to recover so far, but we are going to do a flare back to here. And uh, that that you know I think that that's the move here because there's a couple rocket launchers firing on us not really doing that much damage so we did throw a med kit but um throw a couple more might as well you know a couple of those tanks making me a little bit nervous am I right um uh, uh, probably not making you nervous because it's my troops but uh, we're gonna throw the shock bomb down uh, doing pretty good work on this base we are gonna throw a flare kind of get them grouped up and then we will do a flare onto the HQ and they are just gonna start one bopping it and then as soon as it gets kind of low we're gonna throw three smokes and uh, they weren't at the same time here so that's a little bit unfortunate because I was gonna go for like the I, I, I threw that first smoke a little too far, so I don't think I could have got all of them, but it's going to run out here in a second. Let's see it. They're all just going to... Okay. I, I thought they were all going to fire eventually, but it looks like not, and we have freed the village people of Dog of War Base. There we go. There are the the villagers and such but that's gonna be it for today's boom beach video if you guys did enjoy i'd appreciate if you guys did drop a like but uh yeah we'll see you in tomorrow's video Bye bye